welcome to Akis Mesh Studios tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to spawn objects into your scene during the game using prefabs and Unity's instantiate function. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So we'll go ahead and begin by creating our script. So right click, create C sharp script, and I'm going to name it spawn object. The first thing we want to do inside here is create reference to our prefab. So this is going to be a public game object and I'm just going to call it cube. The reason it's public is so that you can drag it inside the scene onto the script. And then we're going to create two more variables. These are going to be private. The first one's going to be a float and it's going to be delay. I'm just going to use this to spawn an object every three seconds. And then our next one is going to be an int, and it's going to be amount spawned. And I'm going to use this to keep track of how many I've spawned, so that way I can spawn them at different spots. So inside of start, we want to go ahead and give these things defaults. So our delay is going to start at 3, because I'm doing a delay of 3 seconds, and I want it to spawn right away. And then for amount spawned, I'm going to start that at 0. And then for our actual spawning functionality, we're going to put that inside update. So we want a new cube to spawn every three seconds. So the way we do that is by seeing if our delay is greater than or equal to three. And then if it is, we'll go ahead and create a temporary reference to the game object that we're spawning. So that way we can change things about it later on. So we're just going to call this temp because we're only going to have access to it, the frame that we instantiate it. And so we're going to do Unity's instantiate function. And the first argument for this is going to be the object that we're instantiating, which is going to be our cube. And then it's going to want a position. So we're going to do new vector 3. And I'm going to have it be our amount spawned times 5, just so that each object instantiated is 5 units from the previous object. And then I'm just going to do 0, 0 for the other two directions. And then it's going to want the angle, so I'm just going to give it an angle of 0, so we're going to do quaternion.identity, and that's just 0, 0, 0 in all degrees. And then if you want this to be a child of something, you could add a fourth argument, that would be the parent transform. But I'm not going to have it be a child of anything, so I'm going to leave that argument out and go ahead and end that there. And then what I'm going to do, just to show you how you can manipulate this object after you've instantiated it, is take our temp object and then change its name to equal the cube plus the amount spawned dot to string. And then we just need to go ahead and set our delay to zero and our amount spawned to plus plus, so that way it goes up one each time we spawn something in. And then finally what we need to do is take our delay and have it plus equal time dot delta time. And time dot delta time is just the second set of elapsed since the previous frame. So that's all the coding that's needed for this tutorial. So we can go ahead and go back to the scene. And I'm going to add this script onto my main camera. And then we need to create our cube in the scene that we're going to create a prefab for. And we'll just name it cube and leave all its values to what it's defaulted to. And then we'll just grab the cube and drag it into the project. And then now we have a prefab. So now we can go back to our main camera. We're going to take this prefab inside of our project view and drag it over to this reference on our script. And we can go ahead and delete this cube from the scene. And then we can go ahead and test and play. So as you can see, that first object spawns in. And then three seconds later, that second one does. I'm just going to go over to scene view so we can more easily see things. And each second it just spawns in a new one, five units from the other one. And then if you go up here, you can see that the cubes are named with the format we gave it, which was cube plus the amount spawned at the end. So as a recap, we created a prefab and used Unity's instantiate function to spawn objects in our game. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join our Discord and ask them there. We make videos here every Wednesday and Saturday, but we also stream games on Twitch Tuesday and Fridays. We have a game on the Google Play Store called Blast Off, and we have an asset pack of kids' toys on the Unity Store. We also have a Patreon, 
that has a YouTuber supporter tier, so if any of those things interest you, be sure to check them out. I'll leave all those things linked in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.